All right, welcome back. So today marks day number three of training camp for the black and gold. Yeah, Steelers started practicing a few hours ago in front of an eager crowd. Yesterday, rookie quarterback Mason Rudolph struggled, struggled a little bit, as I am struggling a little bit. Bob Pompiani joins us live from St. Vincent now with more. Bob. You never struggle, Ken, but hey, it's training camp. If you're going to struggle, this is the time to struggle. But I got to tell you, you didn't struggle today. In fact, Antonio Brown just went by here, said hello to him. He made an unbelievable catch today that brought the uh, crowd here to its feet. One hand basically tied behind his back with a defender all over him. He made a one-arm catch of beauty. And then Mason Rudolph, you talked about him struggling. Well, today he did not. He was right on the money with a big bomb pass down the field to his college football teammate, James Washington. And speaking about Rudolph, I mean, this is a guy who was drafted in the third round, and the Steelers went after him because they believed he had first-round pedigree. But it adds to the conversation about who will be Ben's backup this season. Landry Jones is signed. He has been the guy. He has the experience. And Mason Rudolph is perfectly content being wherever he is, but he has goals on moving up, obviously. But as far as today is concerned and this week is concerned, he's just happy to be in his first NFL training camp. Just getting out here, getting the new, checking out how the new environment works, all the fans. It's kind of new to me, just, just being here, that many of them. But it was great, I thought. Um, you know, re repeating a lot of the work we've got in OTAs right now, but uh, definitely looked good as an offense, I thought. Yeah, Mason Rudolph uh, will start on the depth chart as the third guy. But again, I think one of the things we'll be watching when we get to preseason games, can he challenge Landry Jones? He'll get plenty of opportunity as we don't expect to see Ben Roethlisberger all that much in some of these games starting on August the 9th. Coming up in sports, we have much more from uh, St. Vincent College. Rich Walsh will talk about a position change to one of the starters on the defense. He'll have more on that coming up at 645. For now, this is Bob Pompiani live in Latrobe. Back to you guys at One Gateway Center.